Hello, we're using the Dremel 4250 with a flexi shaft accessory. You need a way of supporting your bottle, safety glasses, a dust mask, and I've got dust extraction too. The hose does get fitted later. Uh, there's a quick design that I've just roughly sketched. Um, these are the rainbow waxes from Chestnut Products I'll be using to add colour to the engraving. And uh, they're acrylic based. So you'll see those later. There's a Sharpie pen. I'm using that to just draw the design onto the glass. And I'm going to be using the Dremel glass etching set. And that includes silicon carbide grinding stones and a variety of diamond tipped points. And uh, they'll just help me to get different marks onto the glass and different depths of engraving. I'll also be using the rubber polishing points and those also help with the uh, with the shading and uh, you'll see me use those later on. Um, I've also got a spray bottle it's just got some water in it just need some water on the design to help with shading. So here you're seeing me use the sharpie to draw and write on a clean dry recycled bottle. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of modern calligraphy on one side with an octopus design on the other and I'll be putting my dust mask on, safety glasses on, I don't want to get glass dust anywhere near my lungs or eyes uh, so safety first. Make sure to keep your bottle supported while you work on it. I use a bean bag for a lot of um, 3D items whether I'm working with wood or with glass it just helps to support the work safely and it saves it rolling onto the floor and breaking. I'm using a small diamond point to draw around my design and I've kept the speed down and I'm working in small uh, slow strokes around all the design first. And once I've drawn the letters I go back to the transition points where a thick line will start to thicken up um, to give you that italic look and I want these to flow so I'm just going back over before doing the thicker downward letter strokes with a larger diamond point and uh, if, because I'm working on dry glass yes there's a lot of dust but also it means that the engraved stroke comes out whiter and that's important when we're getting the colour on and uh, it has an effect on the design. So I don't use water at this point um, and I'm just using going back to do the octopus and using the smaller uh, diamond points and grinding stones to fill in the areas. The more engraving you've got on your glass the better it is for colouring. Now you see there that I've sprayed some water on the design and this will give a clearer engraving. It'll knock the whiteness out um, and give a, a clearer, smoother engraving. So that's why I'm using the water. It gives me different tones in my engraving. And I'm just going backwards and forward, forwards with the grinding stones and with the diamond points and sometimes the glass is wet sometimes it's dry now with a rubber polishing point I'm going over areas where I want to add some highlights and this will help with giving a 3d effect to the design you can see there it's just polishing back some of the white as I say the more you've got engraved the more color you can add so I'm just picking out some more details with the diamond point on dry glass. They'll be quite white. Any areas on that design where I haven't engraved will be clear glass. So I'm just wiping over with a damp cloth just to collect any of the glass dust before I'm using the rainbow waxes. So these are from Chestnut Products and although they're called a wax, it's an acrylic based cream and it's got high pigment colour and a very vibrant metallic finish. And I'm just rubbing that in with my finger. I probably should have worn gloves at that stage. 
I'm using blue and green on the octopus and I'm going to blend the two colours together on there and make sure you've covered all the design and colour and it doesn't matter if it goes over the design and onto areas where you don't want colour it will come off very easily you'll see that in a moment so time to clean off that excess colour and the best and fastest way I have found to do this is take an old Nyweb pad or an old washing up scourer and once that has softened is no longer scratchy use it to dry and rub circles all over the design and the glass and the colour just lifts all that excess colour just glides off and it remains on the etching it's like magic so that wax is already that the colour is already dry and there's some engraving colouring I've tried on different coloured glass but that that's not rubbing off now I would say I probably wouldn't trust it to put it in a dishwasher um, I say it is acrylic so you could probably give it a wipe over with a damp cloth to get it rid of any dust but uh, it's not going to take a scrubbing shall we say but it's just a nice effect and a great way of using recycled glass